today I'm going to make a toner for aging skin using strawberry extract and hyaluronic acid. This is a really simple one, it's all done in one beaker and I'm going to leave the formula and recipe up in the right hand corner for you to follow along. Um, the first ingredient is 64.5 grams of distilled water which is our solvent. If you want to you can add a hydrolay or floral water instead. After that I'm going to add 20 grams of hyaluronic acid stock. Now you can use high or low molecular weight for this or a combination as I don't need a gel, it just depends how thick you want your toner to be. If you don't want to use a stock then incorporate 0.2% of your hyaluronic acid powder with the glycerin to hydrate it and then replace the remaining percentage with water. What hyaluronic acid does is intensely hydrate the skin and it helps with skin elasticity and smooths fine lines and wrinkles. Then after that we added 5 grams of aloe vera juice which is soothing, anti-inflammatory and hydrating. After that we added 5 grams of vegetable glycerin which is a humectant and now we're adding our strawberry liquid fruit extract. This is rich in polyphenols and vitamin C, contains soothing properties and it also helps to reduce pore size. And I'm just adding this with a pipette as it's easier to control the amount. I'm adding three grams of that. Then I'm adding one gram of AHA natural fruit extract. It's a natural source of alpha hydroxy acids and it's best combined with other ingredients that are soothing for the skin, ideally hyaluronic acid. It's moisturizing, skin softening, boosts collagen production and skin elasticity and it can also help to brighten the skin and it's good for acne. So we're adding that in. And then the last ingredient that I'm adding is our preservative which is Saligard PCG, which is a broad spectrum water soluble preservative that's very easy to use. Stir that all together, it will look a little bit cloudy at first, but it does clear up over time as you'll see. And we're gonna make sure that's thoroughly combined and then I have a spray bottle that I'm going to use to pour it into. But before that, we will need to check and adjust the pH. So I'm going to do that now. Pour a little of the toner into a separate beaker. Make sure you've rinsed off your pH meter and then just pop it in to take the initial reading. At the moment, we're reading just a little bit low. Um, as we want a pH between uh, 4 and 5 uh, for the AHA, but I also want it to be a little higher than 4 because of uh, skin pH. I'm going to use L-Arginine to rise it. If you can't get hold of this, uh, you can use a sodium hydroxide solution. You need 90% water, 10% sodium hydroxide. If you do have L-Arginine, then it's the same percentages. I do have a link for a company that sells it down below, so you can check that out. It's a less stressful way of adjusting pH. The only thing I'd say is when using L-Arginine, you do need a little bit more than if you were using sodium hydroxide, so bear that in mind. Now we're going to just adjust the pH in the main beaker and then take a reading in a separate beaker again and we've got that to around 4.7 so I'm happy with that that's between the 4 and 5 and it's a bit more skin friendly so now I'm going to pour it into my bottle and it's pretty much ready to use it's still a tiny bit cloudy but this will clear up by next day Inspired by Tara Lee's uh, nicer labels, I am trying to make an effort with my labels at the moment because I do tend to just put uh, handwritten things 
and then they get wet and then I can't read them. So I'm making an effort to make some nice labels with the ingredients and the date on so that I can keep track of everything I make for YouTube um, because I am using a lot of it and I do do stability tests and stuff to check how they go. So this is the finished product. I hope you like this. If you do want to make toners, there are other substitutions and things you can do. Um, I've made a blog post uh, that's available, that's linked below. You can read that for a bit more information. If you want to see what else I do, then you can go and follow me over on Instagram. And that's just at Raviga Cosmetics. And then you can also follow me or go and join my Patreon where I post two more formulas a month these are exclusive to patrons along with the ability to message me and i will reply within 24 hours usually sooner um, and also please don't forget to subscribe and uh, drop a comment below if you like the formula or if you try it or if you've got any suggestions for other toners that i could make or anything else you'd like to see me make and i'll see you next time